Bienvenue à tous. Euh, donc, les WebTech du Pôle sont des webinaires sur les technologies céramiques euh, et procédés euh, associés, également les, les traitements de surface. Donc, ils concernent euh, nos, nos DAS, nos domaines d'activité stratégiques, euh, qui sont le luxe et la création, la santé, l'environnement et l'habitat, l'énergie, le transport et l'électronique photonique. Nous avons également deux domaines d'activité transverse qui sont l'usine du futur et les traitements de surface. Donc pour euh, vous rappeler euh, également euh, cette, euh, cette information importante, euh, nous avons euh, décalé, hein, compte tenu euh, de la crise actuelle du Covid, notre événement euh, Ceramic Network, hein, qui est une, une convention d'affaires qui se tient sur deux jours, les 4 et 5 novembre. Elle a toujours lieu à Limoges, euh, au Zénith de Limoges. Donc si vous souhaitez euh, y participer, n'hésitez pas à revenir vers nous ou consulter notre site internet. Donc aujourd'hui, nous allons traiter d'un sujet qui concerne les matières premières avec notre intervenant qui est Philippe Auroy de la société Baikowski, donc directeur R&D de, de cette société qui va nous parler donc des nouveautés de Baikowski. Euh, et donc, voilà, sur cette slide est repris l'ensemble des, euh, des webtechs qui sont à venir avec, euh, ben, on va dire, un certain nombre de, euh, de séminaires donc, qui vont avoir lieu systématiquement les mardis et les jeudis à 11h et 14h. Donc, on est à presque une vingtaine euh, de webtech euh, jusqu'au 30 avril, euh, très vraisemblablement pour euh, cette période de confinement en particulier. Cet après-midi, vous noterez qu'a lieu un séminaire sur la fabrication additive des céramiques par le procédé de dépôt de fil. Donc, peut-être que je vais passer maintenant en anglais. Donc, some recommendation I will give you for this webinar to have a good display speed and a better broadcast, maybe switch off your microphone and camera also. Uh, do not hesitate, uh, nevertheless, to ask your question uh, using the chat uh, icons here. So you can uh, ask your question even to the speaker, uh, Mr. Auroi, or to the organizer, me, uh, Florine Boulle, uh, or to everyone, uh, all the participants, if you want. So uh, do not hesitate to ask your question, and I will uh, read it uh, at the end of the presentation of uh, Mr. Auroi. N'hésitez pas à poser votre question en utilisant la petite, euh, le petit icône de chat. So now I will leave the floor to Mr. Auroi and then I will share the screen with him. So in a few, in a few minutes, a few seconds, uh, we will start the presentation. Okay, so thank you everyone for attending this uh, webinar. Uh, I hope that uh, none of you are too severely hit by the uh, COVID-19. Um, on our side, uh, Baikowski, so we are, um, well, most of us are uh, in a remote uh, operation. Uh, I'm presenting from my home and, uh, and we have uh, stopped uh, our activity in our site in France. Um, but we have a plan to resume a little bit of activity as of uh, tomorrow. In uh, Japan, our activity is still ongoing, and in uh, in the US, I mean, we have reduced uh, our activity uh, quite heavily in uh, North Carolina. Uh, we are still uh, um, uh, producing in, uh, in Texas but with with a uh, with uh, a reduced uh, workforce uh, because of the constraints uh, uh, the local constraints so thank you again for attending this um, this uh, presentation so i'm going to introduce to you two uh, new products uh, that are still under development um, so i will focus on uh, technical aspects of those uh, products and And you will see that there are still some uh, data and results that are missing, but uh, I think it was interesting uh, for everyone to to have, uh, I mean, to to react uh, to to this uh, uh, 
um, to these developments and, uh, and, and therefore feel free to ask any question or to share any reaction to what I'm going to, 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 to say. So, but I will, I will start if, uh, if I can. Okay, so my screen, my presentation is frozen. Uh, let me escape. Ah, yeah, I, I knew what I had to do. So now, so let me start with with uh, with first two uh, uh, news from 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 the business for the ones who are not aware of. So uh, end of 2018, so our company has been spun off from a, a group we were belonging to for a few decades. So now we are again an independent company, uh, um, a small and medium uh, enterprise listed on Euronex Growth. But that being said, the, the rest has not changed and, uh, and uh, in particular, uh, we have kept the same uh, main shareholders, so three uh, uh, families, uh, which are owning more than three quarters of uh, of the shares of of the company. And the two, the second uh, important news is the acquisition of Mathim, so a startup uh, in October uh, 2019. Uh, uh, which is located uh, near to Lyon and uh, which is specialized in nano dispersion. So I will come back uh, in more detail about Mathim in my presentation. And this company is well positioned in dental market with uh, a, a product that is used uh, as a, a radio opacifier for uh, dental restoration. I will I will detail that a little bit later on. So a few. Uh, uh, updated information about our business. So our turnover last year was a, a bit bigger than 40 million euros. Uh, and that does not include our joint ventures in uh, Japan and, and Korea. Um, and with, uh, uh, I mean, total number of employees, again, without the, our colleagues from Japan and Korea are around 150. Um, our presence is really international. We are a small company, but a very international company. As a matter of fact, our uh, turnover is uh, more than 50% in Asia, about 30% in North America, mostly in the US, and the rest uh, mostly in Europe, but only 3% in France. Uh, but I mean, we are proud to be a, a based in ANSI area and have strong connections with uh, with uh, some of you and, and some French uh, companies and French labs. So let me now switch to uh, my last uh, slide about uh, the, this general introduction. So our product range has been restructured and now we are presenting our offers, our offer with these uh, categories. So um, five uh, uh, material platforms, uh, high purity alumina, a broad range of phosphors, spinel, which is uh, uh, alumina magnesia spinel, zirconia and ceria, and on which we are adding a range of products for uh, uh, polishing applications. Uh, CMP excluded because CMP is addressed mostly with Seria and Alumina. And uh, to that, we are, we are pleased to add now the, the range of uh, products produced by Mathim, uh, which is here um, called with this nano dispersion uh, wording. So I will now focus in my uh, following slides on two new products. Uh, one uh, um, which is which has been developed and is still developed by Mathim, so a nano dispersion product, a nano zirconia zirconia product, and the second one I'm going to to detail is an alumina uh, product, an alumina offer, 
which is called uh, uh, petite alpha alumina. So let me now switch to the uh, the, the methane nanozirconia uh, suspension. So a few words about uh, a few more words about uh, methane. So methane is is a startup company founded in uh, 2014, and 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 their um, uh, strong uh, presence today is in dental, uh, with a commercial product that is called uh, Felixio. Uh, which is an interbium fluoride uh, nano uh, suspension, uh, and I will uh, give more detail in the following uh, slide. So, Mathlim has been acquired by Baikovsky end of last year, and, and it is a, um, a very good uh, strategic fit to our company. Uh, first, because uh, of, of the culture of this company, so very similar to what we are doing in, in, uh, in Baikovsky but also very complementary to what we are doing in terms of uh, uh, materials, in terms of product, in terms of uh, particulate size. So they are really in the nano world. So in the range of uh, a few nanometers to 50 nanometers, while Baikovsky is more uh, in the 100 nanometers up to a few micron uh, uh, size range. Um, and they are strong in dental, while Baikovsky, although a bit present in this uh, uh, market, was not that strong. And also very, um, very good match in terms of, uh, uh, um, let's say, um, uh, positioning. So targeting high-end applications, niche applications in high-tech uh, 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 markets. And so they are not only, um, let's say, uh, developing uh, uh, products, they are already producing, they have already a, a, a production line uh, in their premise uh, close to Lyon, which is capable today of producing uh, uh, two tons a year and uh, of dry matter. And, and it is um, uh, being expanded uh, this year to to offer a four tons uh, capacity uh, um, by end of, of this year. Okay, as I mentioned uh, already, um, their uh, world is their realm is in the nano size, so from two to fifty nanometers. And and what was really uh, attractive for Baikovsky when when uh, we were discussing about uh, uh, teaming uh, was that it is not a, 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 a one technology uh, company but it's uh, it is really um, a, a platform of technologies so producing uh, uh, nanoparticles but also. With, with a range of um, uh, surface modification technologies, which is very also very interesting for uh, our current uh, Baikovsky business. And, and therefore, what with, with this range of technologies, what, what this company is, is capable to, to offer is a range of suspensions in various matrices, not only in water, but in uh, different organics as well in uh, monomers, so in in uh, in, uh, uh, in resins. And what is uh, uh, very uh, key for in in their products is that they combine a high solid loading up to 80 well percent, so about I mean depending upon the, the material, but around 50 uh, volume fraction together with a high uh, uh, um, transparency, uh, low viscosity, low, uh, high transparency in the visible range and low viscosity. And this is especially uh, um, uh, desirable uh, for processes where you need to cure with, with uh, for instance, with a, a blue light where you need to cure the resin. So this is what really makes the, the differentiation of, of a methane uh, offer. So this is a, a, a snapshot of, of the, the current uh, uh, materials, products, and what they are good at. 
And let me focus to, to the Itabium fluoride, which is the, the, the currently uh, commercially available product. Um, so this, this, uh, these nanoparticulates are, are very heavy and therefore very X-ray uh, absorbent. And they are used in uh, dental composites. So where, where I mean, now, nowadays uh, the, the, the teeth are restored, are repaired with uh, resins. Some of, I mean, this is uh, one of the technologies, but uh, which is growing as a matter of fact. So the, the, um, the dentists use uh, resin to, 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 to fill some gaps, to cure the, to heal the, 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 the teeth. And, and, and those resins are, 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 are I mean, they need to, the, 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 the dentist use a syringe filled with this resin and, and, and press the syringe to, to fill the, 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 the hole. Uh, so the, the, the resin must have a certain uh, a rheological behavior, well-suited uh, rheological behavior. And, and, and then the, the, the dentist cure the resin with a blue uh, LED, with a blue light. I mean, a very short uh, light pulse, uh, a few seconds, 20 seconds. And uh, after the, 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 the restoration, the, the dentist wants to, to, to check that uh, the hole is correctly filled. And what he's doing is, 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 is just taking an X-ray image of, of the teeth. So if it was uh, using the, the resin without any op opacifier, I mean, uh, uh, on top of, of the, the, the monomer, there is uh, silica, which is a standard uh, filler, but silica uh, is not very uh, X-ray absorbent, it's quite transparent. So if, if, if there was no uh, opacifier into the resin, the, the dentist would not see uh, the, the, the restoration, would not, would not distinguish between uh, 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 the cavity and, and, uh, and when the cavity is fully filled with the resin. Therefore, there is a need to add uh, 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 something that will make the resin after curing uh, 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 X-ray absorbent. And this is where Itabium fluoride comes. But at, at the same time, this absorber must be a, a very uh, uh, blue light transparent. Otherwise, the, 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 the reticulation the cross-linking of the, the resin could not happen. And therefore, the combination of um, well-crystalline and therefore dense uh, 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 ethereum fluoride particulates with the very, the nano size and the high uh, uh, solid loading uh, really uh, addresses all those requirements and therefore can uh, help the dentist to, to cure uh, uh, very deep uh, uh, holes in, 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 in the teeth. So this is an, an example of uh, a detailed explanation of the, the, the key attributes uh, and the, the, the key differentiation of the Mathem uh, 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 products. So let me now, uh, I, will, I will not comment the, the following slides, so here you, you, you will find that in, in the presentation that will be uh, distributed to you. So that contains uh, more technical details about the, the currently available uh, uh, materials. So I will now focus on the nano zirconia suspensions, which is still, uh, as I um, already mentioned, under development. And so those, uh, 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 nanoparticulates are, are really uh, fine, so in the range of five nanoparticulates, uh, five, uh, sorry, five nanometers uh, in, in size. They are suspended uh, as uh, individual particulates in, in water or in solvents and various uh, resins. And because of, of the very good uh, uh, dispersion, uh, the suspensions even at high solid loading, keep a very good transparency in the visible uh, range. Uh, and, and because of the surface modifications that are being used, uh, the uh, organic content is kept uh, rather low. 
And again, because of the very good uh, dispersion, the viscosity is, uh, remains uh, low and, and, and uh, usually the, the rheological behavior is Newtonian um, uh, as well. These uh, uh, zirconia particulates can be uh, uh, customized in different ways. So in size, of course, but also uh, the dopant uh, and, and the doping level can be adjusted as well as the shape. Uh, here I'm, I'm going to focus on spherical uh, uh, nano zirconia. But as a matter of fact, the shape uh, can also be adjusted. So needle-like uh, uh, nano zirconia can be produced and, and other shapes are available. But in my presentation, I will focus only on the spherical shape uh, 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 particles. What, what, what is uh, targeted as, a, as applications are in um, uh, consumer electronics, so for uh, LED light extraction, uh, because those uh, nano zirconia particulates can increase the refractive index of some matrices or some coatings, and that can be that can benefit to uh, LED uh, devices. But they are also they could also be used in some uh, advanced ceramics as uh, as additives. I will not much uh, detail the, the, this uh, latest uh, uh, possible applications, but feel free to ask uh, questions if, if, if you want. So uh, regarding the, the optical uh, properties, which I'm going to focus on, uh, you have here on this slide uh, some uh, data about the, 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 the transparency as well as some uh, pictures. So you, you directly see on the picture that is displayed in, in, uh, in, in, the, in the middle of the screen, uh, the, the strong impact of, of the particulate size, of course, and this is well known, but this is even more spectacular when you see a, a, a picture. And regarding the, the, the refractive index increase, um, and this is uh, shown in water, uh, you see uh, the, 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 the nice increase, I mean, uh, proportional to, to the uh, uh, particulate uh, volume fraction in, in water, while maintaining a rather low uh, organic content. Regarding the, the viscosity, um, so even at uh, uh, 65 uh, weight percent solid loading, the viscosity, uh, the, the, the suspension is, is very fluid, so uh, a, a few uh, pascal second in, in, in water. Now, this, thanks to, to the surface uh, uh, modification and uh, the, 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 I mean, the dispersion uh, 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 technology platform of Mathim, what can be uh, offered um, to, 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 to the market, to the customers, are uh, a range of suspensions in various uh, matrices, solvents, resins, uh, and that includes uh, uh, acrylate resins. And you have here a picture of, of uh, uh, a zirconia uh, uh, suspension in, in an acrylate uh, uh, resin that is uh, um, um, used in uh, um, biomedical applications. Uh, the the scattering of 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 the of, of the suspension is, is uh, mostly due to the resin and not to the zirconia uh, particulates. Uh, the zirconia can be transferred to uh, uh, cetone, like acetone, methylated ketone, and and uh, and, and others, but also in uh, different uh, alcohols. And we are also uh, uh, very actively working on um, uh, suspensions in silicone and epoxy uh, resins, which are used in LED uh, uh, world. On, on the right-hand side of, of the slide, you see uh, the impact of the um, nano zirconia incorporation to uh, various uh, acrylate uh, resins and of course you start you start from a higher refractive index because of, of the chemical 
uh, used uh, as as a as a dispersant uh, uh, matrix, uh, uh, but but the effect of of the incorporation of the nanoparticle uh, uh, remains relatively the same as in in water, and and you can achieve a refractive index as higher than one point seventy five. Uh, uh, here in 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 some uh, cases, so this is uh, quite uh, uh, attractive, and 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 we are um, gaining more and more interest for 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 uh, this uh, kind of of uh, application. As I already mentioned, so uh, there is already some uh, capacity installed. Uh, they are uh, currently uh, producing up to two tons a year uh, on, on this line, and, and we are expanding the capacity to, to double it by end of, of, of this year. And this uh, capacity is currently used for the production of ethabium fluoride and, 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 and the aconia, and depending upon uh, the, the, the market uh, uh, demand, uh, we will uh, uh, switch. Uh, I mean, we can use the same line for the production of both uh, products, uh, uh, and that depending upon the, the, the customer needs. Of course, uh, all that uh, has has been made possible thanks to 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 the people, to the team. And I, I, I like to mention here all the, the 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 key people, all the people who have contributed to these uh, developments, and and uh, Julien is is uh, the, the the and was the founder of the, the company and re, and is is remaining the the head of of the company uh, and together with the new role with with with, with Bykovsky. Okay, let me now uh, switch to the second. Uh, 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 new product introduction I wanted to share with you, which is uh, 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 Alumina uh, uh, product from Baikovsky, so Baikovsky France, which is called uh, Petit Alpha Alumina. So it is again something that is still under development, and you will see that there are some data and information that are still missing. Uh, but we and and we have been hit also by by the the COVID-19 and and we were hoping to to complete that earlier than it was than uh, than than uh, unfortunately uh, because of, of of the epidemic uh, we 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 had to to stop some of our effort. But let 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 me uh, now share with you some information. So what is what is this uh, Petit Alpha Alumina? So it, it is a, a, a fine alpha alumina that, uh, that combines key powder characteristics and easy to use properties. And, and so it's not a, a single uh, 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 material, a single uh, powder. It's, it's as, as you will see, it is an offer in four options, powder, Two granule options and one slurry option, and and we will uh, advise uh, every customer about the best option uh, that will fit uh, the 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 best the the the, the customer objective, both in terms of uh, processability and 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 and, and application. So what are those key powder characteristics? So those key powder characteristics are common to all the four options, and I will detail some of those key characteristics. So it is a, a fine uh, alumina, so with a typical specific surface area of the order of 18 uh, square meter per gram, corresponding to a D50, of primary particulates of around uh, uh, 120 nanometers. So with a, a narrow uh, particulate size distribution for those uh, uh, fine uh, particulates, uh, primary, primary particulates. And as you know, the, the Baikovsky uh, uh, material is easy to de-agglomerate. So we, we really uh, uh, guarantee 
the, that the fine, uh, the primary particulates have this, uh, this sign. What is not so obvious is to combine these uh, high, relatively high specific surface area with an 100% alpha alumina structure. And this is what is shown in, 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 in this uh, XRD uh, graph. So combination of uh, relatively high specific surface area and 100% alpha alumina is a key attribute of these uh, petite alpha alumina. Uh, but more conventionally in, in, in our, in Baikovsky product, uh, the purity of, of the material is uh, very high, more than 4 N uh, with typical uh, uh, impurity level of a few ppm for the, the few elements I have shown here in, in the table at the bottom of my slide. So those are key uh, attributes, key powder characteristics of the four options. Now I will detail a, a bit uh, more about uh, some of the uh, properties of, the, of every option. So the PEA-K option is a powder um, with a high sintering uh, reactivity. So we have uh, done some tests, but that needs to be further substantiated. So I, 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 won't, uh, I won't be able to share uh, uh, precise data about that, but that will come soon. And, and therefore this powder is, is well suited to achieve dense uh, and fine grain alumina ceramics, whether pressing forming technology is used or uh, slip casting uh, forming technology is used because it is also an easy to disperse uh, uh, powder. And this is shown here, or this is illustrated here with, with the, the, uh, the, the chart at the right uh, on side of, of my slide where we have dispersed uh, using a, a rather standard uh, dispersion technology and a, a, a commercially available ionic surfactant at one weight percent. And this weight percent is versus the alumina content. So we have dispersed this uh, PEA-K uh, uh, powder uh, in water using this commercially available unique surfactant, so well known in the ceramic world. And we have measured the viscosity at 100 uh, reciprocal uh, uh, second shear rate uh, 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 versus uh, the volume fraction of the alumina up to uh, 50 uh, 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 volume fraction, which corresponds to 80 weight percent uh, volume fraction, and you can see that we can keep a very low viscosity for 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 this uh, uh, slurry uh, uh, at uh, 100 uh, uh, reciprocal uh, second shear rate. It exhibits uh, uh, a shear thinning uh, uh, behavior. This slurry with this uh, uh, surfactant. Now. The two other options are uh, thread-wired powders, so granules, with uh, a, a granule uh, diameter of uh, uh, about 50 micron, and a rather, uh, uh, rather uh, tight uh, 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 particulate size distribution. And, and that uh, thread-wired powder shows a, an excellent uh, flowability. Uh, an Ausner index uh, of 0.9, very dried powder, so residual uh, moisture content uh, below 1%. And, and it is, uh, this uh, uh, powder is well suited to achieve high solid loading uh, in some matrices and processes, for instance, in uh, ceramic injection molding. And that has been proven with uh, some partners uh, um, with, rather standard uh, uh, um, um, thermoplastic uh, resin used in uh, ceramic injection molding uh, uh, process. And we can offer 
this uh, granules, uh, this spray dried powder without sintering head or with a sintering head like uh, MGO in the M uh, option of, of this uh, petite alpha alumina. And let me now finish with the uh, fourth option, which is a slurry, uh, PAAN uh, option. So a slurry at uh, rather high uh, uh, solid loading. So 50 weight percent solid loading. It is a basic slurry um, uh, with a um, uh, uh, small amount of uh, 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 ionic surfactant. Uh, and you can see that even at 50 weight percent, uh, it exhibits a very low viscosity and a Newtonian behavior. So the viscosity is below uh, 10 millipascal second uh, in water. So this is in water. Uh, and, and therefore, this uh, uh, option is uh, proposed uh, for uh, applications where you need to coat uh, substrate, uh, where you need to have a Newtonian behavior, and where you want also to, to have a, a long shelf life, and this is uh, what has been uh, checked. So our slurry um, um, I mean, can uh, be used for uh, several months without uh, any uh, noticeable aggregation, and it is easy to re-homogenize with uh, almost hand, hand shaking. So this is basically uh, where, where, where we stand with this uh, development. So we initially intended to, to launch uh, this uh, new product uh, uh, this, uh, this June, uh, but uh, that will be a bit delayed because, as, uh, because of the coronavirus uh, uh, pandemic. Uh, but uh, because we need to complete uh, some of, of, of uh, these uh, developments. But uh, I mean, uh, normally it should be launched uh, this year. And and the last point I want like I would like to emphasize is that um, we have uh, enough capacity to 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 meet a large demand. So feel free to to place your orders. We are we are almost ready to to answer your 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 needs. Um, uh, again, uh, this is uh, not uh, fully completed, so some of the information that I, uh, uh, that I have shared with you might uh, 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 change a bit, uh, uh, but basically what has been presented is, is, uh, is the bulk of, of, uh, of, 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 of uh, this uh, development. So um, at, at this point, I'd like to, to thank you all for, for your uh, attention. And I think uh, I will uh, I will uh, switch to uh, the, the the questions if I can see the the the, the questions if uh, if there are some oh yes I can see already some uh, questions. Thank you very much, uh, Philippe, for your interesting presentation. Uh, I have uh, also from my side some questions. I think you can see them also. I will read them. Uh, so the first one, uh, is there any application in the optical business for these nanoparticles? You already mentioned LED devices application. Is there anything else? Yeah, indeed, indeed. Uh okay, so I, 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 I do not... Uh, uh, know uh, the, the, I mean, op the meaning of optical business, but of course, uh, we are targeting uh, applications uh, in optical devices um, uh, when, uh, where uh, there is a need to adjust the refractive index of uh, some components uh, where you need to um, uh, glue some parts and 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 this is and, and where you need to adjust the the um, the refractive index of the of the adhesives for instance so indeed um, there are uh, we are uh, um, addressing uh, applications in uh, in in uh, optical devices yes um I, there was a question about um, uh, about the the way the, the, the 
I mean, the, the techniques that we are using to measure the particulate uh, size. So we are measuring the, the particulate size mostly with um, static light, light scattering uh, 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 method. So Oriba, LA 950, 960 typically. Uh, but we are also measuring the particulate size um, with dynamic light scattering. Uh, especially for the very small particulates, so this is more suited for, for uh, uh, nano size uh, uh, particulates. And we compare uh, the, the particulate size with TEM, for instance, or with other techniques. But the, 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 our standard techniques for the particulate size measurement is are static, static light scattering and uh, dynamic light scattering. Okay, thank you. Uh, there was also a question about um, the solvothermal or sol gel process that is used, I think, for MATIM facilities. Yes, so it's mostly a uh, solvothermal uh, uh, process, but it's, it's a range. It's not, it's not a, a single uh, uh, process, but it's most, mostly solvothermal uh, process indeed, yes. Um, and another question um, yeah, is about solid data? loading. Yeah, about solid loading that can be achieved uh, yes. in uh, ceramic injection molding applications. So I can I can share more uh, data about that. But it it, it was above forty weight percent solid loading. I I don't re I don't remember the precise figure in. Uh, Right now, but I will I will uh, I will uh, share uh, the um, the data uh, uh, after the presentation. Okay, and you have uh, another question so about the uh, comparison of mechanical properties of PAA with other commercial aluminas. Yeah, so I, I guess the, um, uh, what is being asked is about the mechanical properties of the the, the ceramic parts uh, elaborated with the petit alpha alumina um, we have um, so we are this this is part of what is uh, what is missed in in my presentation so we are currently generating uh, data um, uh, 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 to substantiate uh, this uh, this information, and 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 for that we we rely on on partners because I mean we are not uh, 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 ceramists, so we rely on a, a few partners uh, which are associated to this development, and they are currently uh, 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 producing the ceramic parts using our uh, powders. And, and, and so they are producing uh, 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 samples and measuring the, the ceramic uh, properties. So this is in progress uh, so far. So we have uh, data about the, um, the density. So the density is, uh, is I mean, we, we can achieve uh, uh, the full density, uh, 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 3.95 uh, uh, gram per uh, cc. Uh, but uh, I mean, we need to to generate more than than the the density to 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 demonstrate the benefits of of uh, of, uh, of our alumina in um, in fine ceramics. Yeah. So um, indeed, uh, the the other as uh, asking the question about uh, about the optical uh, business. So indeed, our hard coating. So the the, the, the information is about hard coatings for ophthalmic lenses. Um, <laughs> indeed, this is one of of, of the uh, applications that uh, that uh, we are uh, working on, uh, and, um, and 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 the. Uh, of course, the the the, the properties of of um, the. The application is also depending upon the, the coating formulation um, and, and, and therefore uh, 
the, 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 the complete information is also depending upon uh, the, um, I mean, the partner we are working with and, and, and this is uh, something that is confidential and I cannot uh, share more about, uh, uh, about that. There is a question about the thermal stability uh, uh, of the um, of the uh, uh, zirconia nanoparticulates. Uh, as it is well known, this I mean, when when thermal stability, I think there is um, that refers to both hydro, uh, I mean uh, hydro and I mean hydro and thermal stability. And at, as it is well known, this is depending upon uh, the dopant and uh, dopant level of, of the zirconia. So in that respect, uh, the, the nano zirconia uh, that is produced uh, uh, by Mathim um, does not differ to the best of our knowledge, does not differ uh, from what is known on more standard zirconia. So when it is doped with uh, 3Y uh, uh, yttria, uh, I mean, there is, an, uh, I mean, there is uh, or, or even more uh, uh, yttria, the, um, the um, uh, hydrothermal stability is improved. Uh, that is something that is well known uh, in, in standard zirconia until now. We have not uh, observed uh, uh, neither a better or a, a worse uh, uh, behavior uh, than in a more standard uh, uh, zirconia material. Um, okay. we have a, a last a, question. Yeah. Uh, so there was a question about why the 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 some of the petit alpha aluminas are easy to, to disperse. So it's a combination of, um, combination of, um, uh, I mean, uh, powder characteristics. So the, the, the powders, uh, because, because of the synthesis, because of the deagglomeration process that is used uh, in, in our plant, but also because of some uh, uh, surface treatment, uh, possi possibly, uh, all those attributes make the petit alpha alumina easy to disperse. So it's a combination of uh, properties. It's, it's, it is not just one uh, 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 one uh, characteristic that makes them easy to disperse. So the synthesis as the, the synthesis process has an impact on the uh, dispersion on the later dispersion properties, but also uh, in in our uh, uh, um, technology we are deagglomerating the the, the the powder. So the deagglomeration technology has an impact on the dispersion ability of the powder and in some cases we further enhance the the the, the dispersibility with uh, with a surfactant that is carefully chosen uh, not only carefully chosen but is 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 its quantity is well adjusted to make the the powder easy to disperse so it is a combination of all those uh, properties that make the, the the product easy to disperse, especially in water. And of course, all that can be all that can be customized. Uh, that is something that I did not emphasize in in my presentation. So in my presentation, the the petit alpha alumina uh, is uh, what will be proposed as a standard uh, offer. To the market, but on top of this standard offer, we will also um, offer to some customers, to some extent, uh, the possibility to customize the petit alpha alumina again if uh, the, the demand uh, requires. Uh, 
pH stability, that is a question addressed uh, related to the uh, nano uh, zirconia uh, uh, particulate. So we we have uh, uh, this so we have dispersed the, the the zirconia the nano zirconia in water at uh, in a in a very wide range of ph so from a uh, very um, acidic to very basic range so from 3 to uh, more than 9 close to 10 and we have uh, in, in from 3 to almost 10 we have not observed any uh, stability issue or any um, um, chemical uh, degradation of the, 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 the uh, nano zirconia and, and the dispersions um, are we, we, we offer are, are have a very long uh, uh, shelf life uh, the, their stability is, is, is uh, guaranteed for, for a very long uh, time uh, so from weeks to months in some cases so that I mean every uh, suspension needs to be uh, uh, I mean I need to to specify uh, uh, that answer according to every suspension but but the the the, the, the dispersion stability is, is is very long so usually uh, f uh, for several months So that was the last question in, in my chat. Also from my side, uh, thank you very much uh, for having answered to all these questions, Philippe. Uh, and I would like to mention to conclude uh, that uh, the speaker will send the presentation uh, he has made today by email uh, to everyone uh, that was connected. And uh, of course, if you, some of you are interested uh, to have more information to go deeper in detail uh, on this subject, do not hesitate to ask us to write uh, to uh, the Open Cluster of Ceramics, uh, to the poll. Uh, maybe we can organize a specific uh, session uh, dedicated to raw material and nano raw material in particular. Uh, of course, as soon as we can meet again together in Limoges, uh, so do not hesitate uh, to go also uh, on our website and to, uh, to see all the webinars that are organized until the end of April. And so to conclude, I would like to thank again the speaker and uh, all of you for, for your participation to this webinar. Thank you. Thank Bye. you all. Thank you all for attending. Thank you.